YouTube, what's up? C. Tyson Synopsis, back at it. Um, got a quick boot review that I wanted to do. Um, I got a bunch of different boots over this uh, the past couple of weeks or so. Um, got a pair of boots from a company called Helm. It's a uh, made in America boot company out of uh, Austin, Texas. Um, great thing about this company is they sell really high quality boots at a decent price. Um, so this is the pair of boots I got. It's the it's the Muller boot uh, the Muller the Muller boot in uh, teak is the color of leather. Um, it's a Chrome XL leather from uh, from the Horween Company in Chicago. One of the uh, the best tanneries all over the world. The best tannery in America. Um, Chrome XL is a is a leather that's highly sought after. The only leather that I can think of that's more high quality than that is the um, the the horse hide uh, leather from Horween. Um, so when I, I actually got these boots, um, second hand on eBay, but when, the, when I, when I bought them, the, the photos that I looked at when I, when I purchased them, it was basically a brand new boot, maybe worn once or twice. Um, I think I might have paid like 120 bucks. Um, I believe they retail online for 385. Um, and even that is honestly a discount because these, uh, they don't have a brick and mortar store. So you're getting kind of the direct to uh consumer price. Um, if they were, if they were sold at like just a regular retail store, they'd probably be in, in the $400 range. Um, so yeah, these boots are really nice. I mean, uh, I'm not, I'm not used to boots that have a, kind of, you know, it's got a partial rubber rubber sole, but you got the leather sole here and then the leather heel. I'm getting used to that. Um, but I like it. I mean, it's it's more of a dressier boot than what I'm used to. Um, but it's got a pretty a pretty wide uh, toe, toe box, so it's not super dressy. It's not super, like, kind of European style with, like, the long almond toe or like the long uh what, what would you call it kind of the eagle claw toe which you see in a lot of uh kind of more fine dress boots but the thing that i really liked about this boot is it's got a really nice kind of signature white uh rubber midsole um <clears throat> it's um got really nice uh waxed leather laces um i polished it a little bit i like I gave it a little bit of coloration on the on the um the cap toe. Um it's good. This is the um the Muller antique, which is kind of like an orangish uh yellow, similar to like a red wing um what's the uh the leather they have? Red wing ori something something rather but anyways. Um but yeah, so the the construction it's not a good year well um, which is fine. It's, it's a rapid, they, they call it a rapid Blake stitch welt, which basically means, um, it's a little bit more flexible, um, when it comes to the welt itself. Um, it's nice. I mean, <clears throat> I'll try to give you a little bit of look, but Blake stitches usually kind of tuck it underneath a little bit. Um, I can, I mean, I could break down a video it kind of goes into the difference between a, a Blake and a, and a Goodyear Welt, but, um, yeah, I mean, from, from what I paid and, and for, for what they go for, I got an absolute steal. Um, the interior is nice. It's got not only it's, it's not unlined. It has a secondary lining of leather. So if you look at the tongue, not only is the tongue leather, but they have a secondary piece of leather kind of, goes over that and they stitch over that and it from if you look at it it looks like they have the the main piece of leather which is the horween chrome xl um which is <clears throat> like i said probably one of the most sought after pieces of leather um i believe chrome yeah chrome xl is a chrome tan leather 
it, it patinas really nicely and it also takes on um takes on uh any of your waxes and your lotions really well um i probably shouldn't have put the darker um the darker coating of uh, polish on it. I mean, I can brush it out, but either way, um, yeah, I mean, it's double stitched at um, the toe cab, double stitched on the seams, uh, double stitched around the heel. Um, yeah, I mean, it's super nice. Um, it's got, you know, kind of nails in the, the heel cap. It's completely stitched through the uh, partial rubber outsole. Um, and then it's got kind of the, the rubber, like, end of the heel. The only thing that, um, that I don't like is <clears throat> with the partial leather heel, when you, ro uh, walk on, like, kind of, you know, sh small stones and shit like that, they kind of penetrate into the leather, and you kind of got to brush them out, uh, br um, I'm sorry, brush them out time after time, um, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know. Some people are into that, um, but I, I mean, I would've, the only thing that I can say that I don't like about it is I, I wish that the heel was completely, um, you know, with the rubber outsole, but I mean, I got this almost $400 pair of boots for a hundred bucks, so I can't be too mad. Anyways, <clears throat> both of them here, um, just in a really nice pair of boots, um, yeah, and really an awesome buy, in my opinion. I really like that uh, kind of orangish leather. It's called teak, is the, how to describe it. But yeah, really awesome. Um, company out of uh, Austin, Texas. Um, the founder was a, um, I think the founder was a owner or a store manager with a, a different boot company and he decided to you know go and do his own thing i think the company is only a, a couple years old um this is off the top of my head but i'm sure you could you know do some more research on it but um yeah i got them in a nine and a half d which is uh they fit true to size i mean they're semi i mean i'm a, I'm a pretty true um nine and a half so they're they're a little bit tight but not um they're they're also a new boot so they're probably breaking over time so if you're you know a true to size 9 10 11 12 11 and a half just order whatever uh whatever size you're used to to ordering um they got the the made in america stamp on the inside i don't know if you can see it but <clears throat> yeah it's pretty nice the construction, honestly, of this boot is, is great. I mean, I don't see any flaws. Um, like I said, one of the things that really kind of put me um, onto the, the style of the shoe is the really cool white uh, midsole. I thought that was a really nice touch. Um, I think it probably adds a little bit of extra cushioning to it um, in terms of comfortability. Um, pretty much all there with that. Um, I have a pretty high arch, so I would have probably liked something with a little bit more arch support, but, you know, I'm being picky at this point. I just threw in a little cheap, um, threw in a little bit of a, a cheap kind of <clears throat> insole, and it's perfectly fine, so. Yeah, I mean, awesome boot. One of my faves at this point. I'll probably beat these up and then get them resold um, with either, a, you know, maybe a a day night soul or uh, a doctor doctor soul soul they got the cool half souls that I really like but anyways um, thanks for checking in gonna be dropping some more um, boot videos I have probably six more to do Chippewa boot company called Trask um, what else do I got got a pair of Chippewa boots coming through um, I'm probably gonna buy another pair of Danner um boots that i'll do a review on and then buccaneer season coming through a couple uh couple months let's start doing bucks videos but uh anyways 
Thanks for tuning in. The C. Tyson synopsis over and out. Let's get it.